Ayanda, I'm so yeah. stressed. I literally just got my script. I, it's so I, long. I like. haven't even seen the script yet, you know. Am I being shocked? You never look at the on? script. Hey, like. Oh my goodness. Is that what on. I think it is? That's the hectic old jingle. Now, first yes. thing, no. To it, guys. You asked for it. It is a TBT episode. Some of your favorite presenters from all over the years are in the building today. The OGs, the originals, have come out to play. So make sure you rant and rave on social media. Tell us who was your favorite and who are you so excited to see in studio today? Oh, yes, that is so right. So now I say, roll out the red carpet, bring out the paparazzi. This is the end, okay? Mzanza's killer's kid, Ayanda Marcuzini. One big share today. You guys at home might not know this. Lorette, I've been begging the h &M production team You've to do. Been begging, I've been my begging friend. the team to say, bring back the old presenters where you come in, reunite and do a big party. And today it's that show. But today, some presenters could not join us. But later on, we shall be chatting to them via Google Hangouts. The, the likes of Asanda, Shalane, Tato, as well as Deneen and Lois. But on the show today, boys and girls, let's welcome Natisha, Danilo, Dinero, Matthew, Lesejo, Grant, Uber. Welcome to it. Now, obviously, we need to see if you guys still got your presenting skills in uh -huh. check. I know that Natisha's on radio at the moment, so you get to give us our contact details for today. Well, that's right. HN9 is on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, so all you have to do is go search for at Hectic99. Yeah, well, yes. You know what? And I think we're going to use the hashtag TBT in the oh, building. Yeah. <clears throat> well, like I understand, we've got amazing presenters in the building. I think we're going to start with the one right over there with the dreadlocks growing a beard. A beard. Like yeah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Gold in the building. Oh, How are you doing? Amazing. So good now, you know, when you left H9, your music career kind of just exploded. You're doing collaborations with amazing people. You're on hits, uh, top radio stations. Tell us how has your career been since you left H9? Well, mm, it's been quite a natural process, I think. I was always passionate about music, and I think the viewers back then, even while I was on the show, could see kind of how I loved entertaining people and also interviewing amazing artists, etc. So. It's been a, a, a just a journey, you know. Nice. Yeah. Now, Grant. Granty, Granty. Granty, Granty. Hey. In season one, we know that you're producing this uh, big show on our sister channel, SBC3, with yeah. Neil Anthony. Tell us, how did you get into um, producing? I think it was a slow journey from um, leaving Hectic and moving into kind of developing new shows. Um, and now I've gotten to the place where those shows that have been developed and conceptualized and sold, we're now in the process of making quite a few of them. So it's quite exciting. Um, and the one that's airing now on SABC3 is called uh, Private Chef Neil Anthony. Um, and yeah, catch it, SABC3. Do you miss being on the screen? I do, Grant. I do. Um, I, it's quite a strange feeling to be here. It always feels quite at home when we come to studio and chat to you guys. Um, I do miss it, yeah, I'll be, be quite, quite honest. Yeah. Nice, I'm gonna go over to Danilo. Danilo's <laughs> recently left and everybody knows that you're into business right now, big corporate and also radio. And you know, the Iris House obviously was here on your last day, um, some community charity work as well. How's that been going for you? So the community charity work's been going so well. Um, they're growing so much. They've just bought a brand new house and they're looking to equip the house, looking for lots of money. So we've just released their corporate video asking for some more funding, which has been really cool for them. Um, also, Life Choices, that organization that I sit on the board for, they're also growing immensely. They've got a really cool team of them going out into all of our townships, really growing the families and youth in our country, which is awesome. Business stuff is all hush-hush always, but it's awesome. Doing a bit of development, a bit of my own stuff, a bit of radio. And now I'm on twice a week on Good Hope, which is really Ooh. awesome. Yeah. Wow, that's absolutely amazing. We'll find out from you later if mm. we'll be seeing you on our screens very soon. Friend, I have to jump into this yeah. one. Miss Modutle. Now, you know when it was the ANC um, 103rd oh, yes. birthday? I saw her. Our girl was up there next to Jay Z, <laughs> Czech of Zuma, <laughs> next to the president. How is that going? How is your career oh, um, going? Yeah, Lesoko Science is doing very, very well. Um, I am doing a lot of interpreting with the president, with the ministers. Yes. You know, you can catch me She's on that like small corner in the screen. But there is one guy I would love to interpret for. Ndate Musi Maimani. If I can interpret for you, Baba, I'll been be so for the happy. Now you want to work with the DA's hand. I'm not working for any political party. I am an interpreter and I interpret for anyone Independent. who me. Yes. Hi, Shaili Zan. Now let's go to your little girl, Natasha, from season one. My goodness, I know you, you were working for in a radio station Afrikaans, as well as your own horses. Yes, I train horses. I'm an avid horse rider now. I still love my animals. You know I love animals. Yes. And I work for a radio station called Bokoro 
Radio for the Afrikaans community. So keeping busy with that, also producing and writing shows, dancing still. You know, I loved my dancing. Yeah. So and going to Grahamstown at the end teach of me, June. Teach me, teach me some dancing. Oh yes. yeah. You nakhi yai kwe lenger kuda hai. Okay, cool. And Dino, you've been working in some community media, community television. Tell us about your journey so far. It has been a very interesting journey. I will not lie. Lots of challenges faced. Um, every single day you go into into work, you don't know what to expect. And because it's such a like it's a community based, there's not a lot of funding, so you have to work with minimal resources, which teaches you a lot about yourself and about the the industry it uh, as a whole. Mm -hmm. So it's it's great. I love it. Still doing TV, but you know behind the scenes, in front of the screens, everywhere when it concerns uh, uh, community TV. Yeah. So I'm absolutely loving it and enjoying it. Nice. Now I've got to ask this one question. Social media has grown, guys, and you know that from the time that we've started. So mm. is it weird, you know, just seeing like the way H and I has grown online like in comparison to when we were there? I mean, all these new social networks that have started: Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Google. We're doing Google Hangouts today. It's what do you think? I don't even think I quite know what Google Hangout is. What is anyway. Google Hangout? Don't worry, we shall. I'll find out shortly. No, but you're very right. The way people communicate these days is completely different, especially when we started the show saying that it's going to be the most interactive show in South Africa, where we were we were punting, you know, snail mail and all of those kind of things. Mm -hmm. and, and, and MMS. And MMS. And MMS. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest, that never really got off the ground, did it? <laughs> well, that's that's because the gods of media knew that social media like Twitter and Facebook would be there. That is so crazy, guys. Well, all the best to you guys throughout your careers. They're going to be with us for the whole show. Guys, send in your tweets. Send in your Facebook callers. Um, hashtag TBD. Tell us which presenter is your favorite, which one you love. You can even contact them personally. But Matthew, yes. do you still have that presenting thing? Where are we going to right now? We are going to take you back. <laughs> Back into time. <laughs> Get some old memories. <laughs> It's a hectic for the back show today. We're joined by former H and Nine presenters, and I'm chilling with my girl, with Dineo, with the L. Do they still call you Dineo? My friend, it's still an issue even until today. I think I should like make a sign or something, an L I back in the <laughs> day for D. Just All right, for so once. now we're going on to social media, guys. Hop onto Facebook.com forward slash hectic nine, and we ask you guys, what are your favorite memories of the past presenters? Right here on hectic nine, and, and your girl, uh, Dineo, shall be reading all of your comments, guys. Keep them coming, and do not forget to. Hashtag TBT, a hectic throwback. Yes, it is. And you know what? I don't understand. When I was here, there was a problem with names. Uh -huh. And today, they just decided, no, let's give Dine a name. So let me <laughs> try this. Let's go. <laughs> First one comes from Umbuso. When Denise Naidu collapsed in studio and in Gosinati, the floor manager tried to wake her up, only to find out she was kidding. I remember that episode. That was very, very funny. And then Temisana said, my favorite episode is when Umbuso almost... Mbasa. Mbasa. We are one. We are one. I was saying this. <laughs> almost fell on the training machine. Uh, are there any more for yes, now? Yes, from Spulele. Spulele episode with Daniela. Oh, my Italian Stalin. I miss him so much. I'm glad he is in studio. And then Ritabile says, uh, used to love Nat Na Natisha. Natisha. She was so cool. Yes, she was. And the next one comes from? Antoinette. Antoinette. Last, oh, last year's April's Fool's episode. I will never forget that one. I didn't watch it. I must lie. Mm -hmm. And then Tunde, girl Bob is saying, every time I see y'all presenting, that is my favorite episode. And then new Annalisa saying, at the beginning of the year, when Lorraine and Ayanda were pretending to be Kim Kardashian and uh, Kanye West, Kimmy and Kanye Sile, something like that. I was laughing my lungs out that day. Guys, keep those posts coming on Facebook and on Twitter. Do not forget to hashtag Hector Throwback TV. But right now, <laughs> boys and girls, Lorraine and Kelly, Nezini, ultimate big fans of Hectic 99. That is correct. Now, guys, I'm chilling with some of the H and I long term, ne? Long term fans. Y'all guys should have shares. You guys are such amazing fans. So we've got Andy, we've got JD, as well as Mariam. Now I'm going to ask you when you first started watching the show, Andy. 
I actually started watching the show when there was a presenter search. Okay. Um, I think it was Dan Danilo, yeah. Okay, so when did it, the first presenter search with Danilo was yes. introduced. Okay, oh, cool. I literally just and you've been enjoying it ever since. I've been loving it ever since. Nice, what about you? Well, I've been watching the show like since it has been aired, since 2008. And I've loved it ever since. I really don't know like specific Which episodes, episode? but I love the concept. I love that it, what it conveys to the youth. Like it's for the youth, by the youth, and mm -hmm. I just love it. Nice. Now, Mariam, you, you, you have a crush on someone, one of the old school presenters. Let's talk about that crush. Okay, well, um, my crush is Matthew. <laughs> Matthew Cole. <Go. laughs> wow. Yeah. So you've been watching since like, I've been Matthew watching Ball. it ever since it's aired with Matthew and Grant, so. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go to favorite presenters right now. Yes. Who are your favorite old school presenters? Obviously, Danilo. You know, you know why? <laughs> because I literally mobilized <laughs> to vote for him. In oh, Bell's wow. Yes. So you were like canvassing votes yes. and like for I him to be a presenter. So you feel like yes. you're responsible for his presentership. <laughs> no, well. <laughs> I'm just kidding, a love. A percentage. Yes. Hey, he should share the, the <laughs> cut with you. <laughs> Some of his fans on Twitter yeah. should share with you. What about you, Jenny? Favorite old school presenter? Personally, it's Deneen and Luiso because I think they're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. Yeah. They're just beautiful. Just beautiful. Well. Oh, my God. That's the name of my uncle. Hello, Roy. That's Roy. Wow. No, I'm not meeting anyone. <laughs> I'm just watching. Roy's friend Hello, is. Roy. I'm not going to touch anything. No, 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 no. no. What is, what this is, is Gilroy? His name? Lisa, come on. No, 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 no. no. Keep, no, no, no come no, on. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I won. Two apples. Two apples. I couldn't pick up what? one apple. Oh my Two. word. Okay. Well, buddy, you're in luck because I don't actually have a fear of snakes. Okay, then. So. Okay, cool. So, Mariam, you kind of mentioned, but you can tell us again your favorite presenters. Okay, so my favorite presenters were the two that I mentioned before, Matthew and Grant. Right. Um, why? Tell us why. The way they entertained us, like, it was just so vibrant and happy. And back then, there wasn't really episodes on that was like that. And it was something for us there to There wasn't really episodes. Okay, Shab, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you so much, Andy. Thank you, JD. Thank you for Mariam. Um, thank you, Mariam, for coming through to the studio. You guys can weigh in with all of your comments, your favorite old school presenters on Facebook and Twitter. Right about now, we're going for a commercial break. When we come back, more fun with our OGs. Welcome back, I'm Zanti. You're still tuned into the TBT episode with the OGs in the building. Now, you've heard from the fans what their favorite memories are, but we've got to ask you guys, favorite memory ever, Grant? Um, I definitely think it would be um, my final show. And I think it's just a case of, you know, you don't really know what the value of a, a situation is until you've got to say goodbye to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that final show was everybody getting together and just recounting everything uh, and saying goodbye. It was really it was an incredibly still... powerful it's recorded. I have it's it. It's there. It's there. It's there wow. forever. Uh, honored, uh, honored. Hello, What's up, everybody. I'm Hello, Zanzi, Africa. So um, the day has arrived. Um, my final day on Hectic 99, right here, right now. So for the last time, uh, everybody, welcome to Hectic 99. We're live. It's a Friday. It's your boys, Ayanda, Makuseni, and Grunty Grunty in the house. <laughs> I wanted to know, Grunt, do you still play around with the colour in your hair? No. This is <laughs> it's all natural. natural. <laughs> all natural. You yeah, I, in your I did go you know about blonde, blonde red, different. brown, yeah, like yeah. I've seen everything. Him and Dan went through that too. Yeah. Talking about that, Danilo, favorite <laughs> memories. Oh my gosh, I have not, not a favorite memory, but the only thing I can remember from this show was that cockroach Oh, bucket. yes! I when cannot you even, screamed like a girl. I cannot, never. I, I've never <laughs> in my life felt like that before. I'm, I have no fear of anything. I can go and jump off a cliff now, I don't care. I'm not scared of anything after that. Putting like thousands of cockroaches all over you. It's the creepiest thing I've ever done <laughs> in one. How? I get nightmares. Three, two, two one. No! 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 Guys, no! 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 Stop it! Enough! 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 They're sticking to me. I found a G and an R. Take it. G and R. G and R. Get it off me! It's G and R. G and R. This is an exclusive! This is an exclusive! Come on, Dan! You need an O! No, I'm just calling up my back! You need an O, Dan! Come on! 
No. <laughs> Come on. No, no, no. no. <laughs> How has your fashion evolved? Oh, it has. Way? It has. <laughs> oh, my God. Goodness. Do you we know should how probably I didn't like your fashion. You were a surfer boy. You were a diva to me from the beginning anyway. Because I used to wear, like, uh, like surfer shorts, and I would wear these colorful, like, pattern tops that I'd just buy from any random shop that I found. I was like, oh, that's got a picture on it. It must be cool for TV. And then slowly I started to evolved. kind of explore a little bit more in uh, the sort of fashion stuff. Ayanda yeah, gave me a bit of advice. Wait, so he was a diva to you? Let's gossip right now. No. Yeah, let's do that. I used to stand next to the guy and he would not talk to me. He would refuse. He'd be like, mm. <laughs> Things they I say used to about stand me. next to the guy. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. When you try to do a link on camera and I'm nervous, guys, it's like my first time on TV. So I'm starting my link and he'll just like butt in with something else and throw something else at you and you just like, oh, I don't know. Well, it's this is the platform to get back in everybody. Yeah. Do you know fa favorite memory ever? Oh, my goodness. Um... Winning lemon wedges. Oh, that was that was fine. That was fine. Also, that challenge that me and you did, where you uh, had to eat something off the floor, then afterwards eat oh. something else, and then afterwards you'd get the nauseator. The nauseator. The nauseator. Oh. Oh, I love that one. The episode where me and you were dealing with snakes. You were so scared, my friend. Do you remember? <laughs> but friend, but I was you're, you're, you're not wow. normal, Rena. <laughs> and the, yeah. the funny thing is, hey, you know, that was Grant's brother that brought the snakes. He right. had so many yes. snakes and stuff. Now <laughs> there's a new snake guy called Werner, and. Oh. Oh. Did you know? Oh, you were saying something about how you guys used to say goodbye. What, what? No, <laughs> we never it did was that. A, my time. It was a dance and a half to say goodbye. It was a wave flick, and then you need to bang the. And the blowing the kiss. You guys used to love blowing the kiss. You two, the kisses, the kisses. Oh yeah, yeah, the kisses, blowing the kisses. What is your favorite yeah. moment on Nation Nine? I actually have a few. Um, my last ever show, as well as Grant said, was amazing. Um, I think someone surprised me with a note from our director Charlie and that was amazing um, I had a moment with Asanda I think it was in the first year we were all still very nervous and she was playing the psychologist <laughs> the mother the mother the psychologist and my words just came out completely wrong <laughs> <laughs> of all of us and going out afterwards and getting to know each other and just building H and I from the ground up together was it was amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, was amazing. cool, nice. Now we don't have a lot of time left, so let's on Matthew quick quick if we can do your um, memories. Also from my last show, um you were there and Sam was there and my mom was on the phone and Sam asked my mom what is Lesejo's middle name? Because people don't know that. And I was like waiting for that. Okay, my middle name is Irene. Yo, does my mother not say Dodo? Oh my <laughs> new name! <laughs> it's out there now. I can't take it back. Everybody Dodo. knows. So embarrassing. Dodo. I've kept it a secret for so long. Dodo. Stop it. Dodo. You know, they're all dead now, right? <laughs> I remember, I think, actually, my last show also, I think it was amazing. Mm. Just because it's like there was a thing and it was a moment. Mm. But I also remember pranking you with a clown in CD. Oh, oh. oh. She still hates me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was just oh, sad. Thing yeah. thing I think again. you were actually crying that day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you were crying. I mean, I didn't feel bad, but... Yes, <laughs> guys, we can move on. But you know what? The funny thing is, I loved when Matthew played the harmonica and the guitar mm. all at the same time. Such talented young people. Let's go to the kitchen, y'all. It's time to play a game. Challenges I think, let's, Danielle should not take part in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Danielle is the undisputed champion of the Le Lemon Wedge ah, Challenge. Okay. Now, what's going to happen is we've got our fans right over here as well. Hi, guys. Yep, You're going to be partaking with us as well. Yeah. Tell me something. Yeah. Can you handle lemons? Yeah. Yeah. I I think. Think. Okay. You know what they say? When life gives you lemon, you make lemonade. Wow. Hey. Guess what? You can handle it. Half yeah. like Beyonce. Okay. <laughs> you can't handle it. So we've got two that can handle it and two that cannot. Guys, are you ready for this? What's the deal? What's the deal? Wait. We have okay, to there's 30 seconds as as and we need to eat as many lemons as we can. But how are we going to tell? Do we win something here? You put the. Don't worry, you'll get you it. You get to know how to the chair. I'm waiting for my prize, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Three, Three, two, one, one. go, go, go. go. Woo. <laughs> Go, 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 go! You see, what did I say about this beast? Did you know? <laughs> you see, she's done. She's she's done like in guys. 20 seconds. Ah. Well, her, no. her lipstick is like messed up, but she's yeah. done. Grant, where are we going yes, to right now? Grant is, <laughs> right is linking out. We're going to commercial break. And when we come back, we chat some old presenters on Google. Google Hangout. Google Hangout. <laughs> Welcome back.
back, everybody. You're watching the biggest teen show in Amazon. It's a hectic nine, and it's a hectic throwback kind of show today. We were all joined by X, H, and nine presenters, but some could not join us today. But you know, as we are futuristic, we decided just to call them via Google Hangouts. Right now, guys, let's all say Uber, Uber to all of them. Uber! Hello, hi. So now we have Asande Mark. Hello, girl. Hi, I am Jamak. Who is Zeni? Hi, Asanda Maku, Zeni. <laughs> so now, Asanda, so, so I tell about right now, what, you, what, what are you working on exactly? Well, I'm back on TV, which is great. Halala, guys! Halala. Yes, halala. So, yeah, I'm presenting a show on SABC3 called Pop Up TV. And yeah, and I'm also doing like behind the scenes production things. So I'm, I'm very much back into what I love. My first love TV. Nice. Well, guys, we're also mm -hmm. joined by Lloyd. I'm going right across the screen. Hey there, DJ Lloyd. How you doing? What's up? You guys are, are right in the middle of a shoot that I'm doing right now. Uh, let me just show you guys quickly. If you look behind me, I don't know if you can see it. Yes, yeah. we can. The camera. There, there. Can you see that? Yeah. 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 So I'm in the town. I mean, wait, oh, that's me. That's me. Oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, me. Nice. We can we see, see them. the production. Yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. Now, are you going to bring us some nyama, just Captini there to studio? All right, guys, um, I have to go because I'm in, right in the middle of the shoot right now. We're picking up sound. So, but yeah, I'm busy with a lot of stuff. We're having a lot of fun here. We're in the township right now. Okay, cool, nice. Do you have a message to all the other presenters? Like, literally all the older presenters are in the building. Shalane's on the line. What do you want to say to them? Yo, I, I miss I miss all of you guys. I miss working with all of you guys. Um, I do have the pleasure of seeing some of you guys every single day. So it's really awesome, like, what everyone else is doing. I mean, I see um, Asanda on my screen right now. I miss her a lot. I see wow. Tati on my you screen. Too. Today's at the back. So I really wish I was in studio right now. <laughs> oh man, all the best with what Me you're doing, too. Lloyd Shep. Now let's go to our former original Uber presenter out in Joburg. Bye, Lloyd. Hello, Tata Uber. Hey, Tata. <laughs> <laughs> hello, 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 Ayanna. How are you? Siapri Lamzala. How are you guys? We're good. Nice to see you. Tell us what you're up to doing Fantastic. corporate things these days. Hey, jeez, dude, I've been making people famous. Ask me to go, he'll tell you. Um, he was one of our clients. Okay, um, okay. 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 Okay, nice. And you any... know how I roll. And for 2015, any yeah. plans on seeing you back on our screens? Maybe on our radios? Who knows? I don't know. Maybe on our radio. You know, you know very well that radio is my first love, and the second knows too as well. And uh, she knows that we've been hustling hey. um, in Johannesburg, Uber, Uber. Uber. <laughs> so I'm um, hoping that yeah, something will happen. Eh? Nice. Awesome, now, guys. We're also joined by Shalane Bennett on the line. Hey, girl. How are you? Uber. Nice. Now we see you every now and again on an advert, a series, or an SMS one, SMS <laughs> tour, and then you do like some behind the scenes. Tell us about your life right now. Um, at this very moment, I am actually on set shooting a commercial, wow. which I think is actually going to be really cool once it's finished. Um, and then later in the year, I get to do a second season of a very cool drama series, which I love. Um, and then I think I'm coming down to Cape Town at some point. To some oh, great. Out. Uh -huh. But that is in the pipeline, so I can't speak about it too much. I mean, yeah, and every other day, I'm a casting director, which is a lot of fun. Nice. Now, guys, I'm going to ask all three of you guys a question why, while you're still on the line. What has been your best memory of being an h &I presenter? Let's start with you, Asanda. Oh, wow. Um, definitely studio before we go live. You know, Lorianne, our, our gospel singing. Yo, gal, sis ribs has nothing on us. So. <laughs> <laughs> And I have to say, you know, like just, you know, in studio when we getting ready and also just, you know, inserts that I've done with, you know, some of the musicians and, you know, just like door to door. Remember we used to do door to door? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was fun. But like, oh man, you know, it was always behind the scenes. I loved just being with like Grant, Letitia on Long Street when we used to go and buy out. You know, so those were really good memories because we had a better clique and better knit family. 
um, you know, off the screen. So that's what I definitely enjoyed the most. Nice. Over to Tato, friend. Can you just... All right. Stop her there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Some of your best memories of being a regional presenter. Oh, Survivor! Survivor! The best memories was when we... Yes, the Harvard was one of the memories as well. But um, also, just a couple of seconds before we went live, um, you know, just that whole tense moment, and then five seconds before going live, and then boom, you're there. People don't see, um, you know, the nerves, and you know, you're doing what you love, and yeah, man, those those are just some of the memories that um, stand out for me in terms of H and and of course the relationships that I've made, the likes with of Ayanda, um, Lestejo. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Your well, Zala, you know, say it, I'm your Zala. You know? <laughs> okay, cool. Now let's go back to Shalane. Shalane, so now what, what do you miss about being on Hectic 99? I miss my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, like listening to all of you is crazy. Um, I think one of the biggest things I, I do miss is obviously working with each and every one of you because it was always so much fun when we were on air um, and also working with the different directors and crew members and staff. If I think about my favorite show though, um, and it's something I actually told Zanile, it was that every single show I did, I think was my favorite because I got to hang out with all of you guys. And then there was one with Ayanda where there were animals. And the puppy beat on me, and he wouldn't touch chicks. And yeah. All that kind of thing. So, yeah. I still don't like pets at all. It's animals. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for joining us today online. We know you have busy schedules. You guys are going back to Hollywood right now. So oh, we're saying goodbye. Yeah. We love you guys. Bye, Sunday night. Bye, 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 bye Shalane. Bye, bye, bye. 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 Thanks a lot, guys. All right, so now it's time to check out our old Facebook status and pictures back in 2007, our first ever season. Now let's just check out the old pictures, Grant, Grant, and everybody else. Now let's go check out this one. What is going on here, guys? Oh, Matthew. Matthew. <laughs> Matthew. Okay, uh, Matthew. No. Is that Matthew? This, yeah. This was Aiden yes. from from Do you Aiden remember that? Yes, yes, of course. I still have that bowl that he made on that oh. show. I have a pot plant in there. Actually, so it was a salad bowl or a fruit bowl, I but mean, there's yeah, a pot I plant in there now. Oh my god. That's gosh. so sweet. And our next one. Oh, oh, that's oh wow! Here. We just had Aiden Bennett. And that, and that. Um, uh, let's go to this one. Where there's uh, Dinewa, Matthew, Dinewa. Yes. Do you remember the picture? Oh, Sasha Lee from oh, Idols. Yes. Oh. Remember that episode? Wow. Yes, oh, I saw my dress. Oh my man, that's They love the under here. They back. <laughs> and other pictures. Okay, let's go find them here. Pow. Oh wow. Pow. This is our very first ever photo shoot. Natasha baby, come. Next. Those gold the, uh, pants. I dream of those gold pants. Can I just you tell love you? Them? I you love them. You haven't aged the day. Do you know that? Mm. Look oh, at that. Thank you. It's exactly the same. <laughs> now let's check our first ever tweet, guys. The one we tweeted out. It says here, check out tomorrow's show. SMS2 is launching Cubase 28. And no more dub. I remember dub. I got dub. I got dub. That first date is 2000. 2009. The show started in 2007. October. So that was the first tweet that, that Hectic ever yes. did on Twitter, two years after. So I don't think it's two years because it was 2007 in the latter that's part of right, the year. So right. it's more like a year yeah. and yeah. a few months. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. Awesome, wow. awesome. All right, now let's talk where we're going right now. Oh, uh, guys, I'm sure it's been so much fun hanging out with all the presenters, but I know you're wondering where's our girl Deneen? But don't you worry, she couldn't be with us here today, but she does have a message for you after this break. Greeting B without saying Uber Uber. Know that I'm so so sorry I can't be there today to join in on all the fun, but the H9 family is always near and dear to my heart and missed so much. But you guys continue to keep in touch and thanks still for all the love and support. It means a world to me. Um, well, time to hop a plane uh, and I do hope that I'll get time to see you guys real real soon. Mwah. Now everybody knows that we love surprising our fans. So yesterday in studio, we had a grade seven class from Athlone North in the building. So Ayanda and myself decided to go all the way to their school, which is Athlone North, and surprise them with donuts and juice. Take a look at this. Hectic. Let's go. So they know we're coming here to surprise them yes. with free juice and donuts. 
Yeah, guys, so we're gonna actually go into the classroom right now. They don't know we're coming. That will come and surprise all of you guys this morning. <laughs> well, guys, so we found out that today at Athlo North Primary is a very special girl's birthday. Guys, whose birthday is it? Let's all sing. Can you point to her? yourself the juice. Okay, so guys, we're giving everyone some donuts today, so we hope that you guys enjoy. There you go, grab the cheese. Catch up with some of the great sevens right here at Athlone North, and I'm sitting next to Grace. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm great. Did you love the surprise? Yes, I did. Oh. I really didn't expect it, you know. Wow. Now, Grace, you're the head girl of Athlone North. Tell us, you in grade seven, how did this happen? I really don't know because. Well, most of all, a lot of us were nominated as prefects, and all of us could already choose. It was between me and two other girls, so fortunately, I was chosen to be the head girl. Wow, that's beautiful. And you're going to be going to high school next year, so what are some of your dreams? What, what are your future ambitions? What do you want to become? I really love working with people, so I've decided I'll be a social worker. Okay, okay cool. So let's move on to the next one. Hey, Tegan, how are you? Fine, and you? I'm very well, thanks. Did you love the surprise we did this morning? Yes, I love it. And the donuts, they're so delicious. Wow, those are delicious, eh? Now, um, what are your favorite subjects? Um, <coughs> My favorite subject is maths because I'm good at it. You're good at maths? High five, I like that, hey? People that are good at maths and don't complain about it. So, what are some of your future ambitions? You're going to high school next year. What would you like to become? I love working with money, so I think that I will become an accountant. You love working with money. Let's move over to Stacey Lee. Hey, how are you? Fine. Man. Very well, thanks. Did you love the surprise this morning? <laughs> yes. It was cool, right? Now, tell me something. What are your favorite subjects? English. English. Okay, and you're leaving school next year. What are some of your future plans? What would you like to become one day? I would like to become a vet. With veterinarian because I love animals. You love animals. Okay, cool. Well, guys, we've just caught up with some of these amazing people. I think I'm going to go back to... One last one. You may take it. Yes. Oh my goodness, we had so much fun at Athlone North Primary School. Guys, remember, Hectic 9 and Love Surprising you, our big fans. You never know, we might be at your school or your city, right? That's correct, guys. So hit us up on Facebook, on Twitter, or stuff at hn9.co.za if you want us to come and surprise you and visit you at your school. We did it in Durban, we did it in Athlone, and we'd love to come to your school. Thank you so much to the school for hosting us today. Guys, did you enjoy it? Yeah! Nine, nine. Oh man, what a great surprise out at Athlone North Primary School. If you want us to surprise you at your school, guys, email us at stuff at h today. Now, when the producers were planning this hectic throwback show, they wanted to know from our former presenters what they would say to their younger selves, and this is what they said. All right, to my younger self, uh, first and foremost, I'd like to tell you, well done. Um, and congratulations for trying the things that you're about to try or want to try and succeeding or not succeeding. Um, second of all, um, pat yourself on the back every now and then because I think you're a little bit hard on yourself. Um, and lastly, relax, relax. Everything will work out the way that it's supposed to. Keep trying um, and make sure you do the best at everything and the, the, the road will roll out the way it's supposed to. That's it. What I'd say to my younger self, well, I think I would say that 
stop fearing so much. I think that I'd want to go for more of my goals, more of my dreams, and yes, it is possible to do them. I'd also say focus a little bit more and, you know, just try out many opportunities that come in your direction and also get a mentor. All right, I'll say to my younger self, Ayanda Makasini, my guy, don't stress. Just calm down, everything will be okay. And I'll say, well done, and congratulations for opening doors to not the Marks, not to the Joannes, but to those kids who are, you know, who are not part of that category. I'll say, well done, keep on shining, and you will be successful. Nine, nine, hectic. Oh, hey, wow. inspiring. Absolutely wow. incredible. Hope you guys are taking some of these words into your own life, applying them and becoming the best person you can be. I know I did uh -huh. when I came into this TV stuff, so it's been absolutely incredible. So take them all in, learn as much as you guys can. So now why don't you guys tell us what you, would you say to a younger you? By doing so, guys, go onto our website. It's hn9.co.co. You have to register so you can stand a chance to win that data voucher that is worth 100 rand. So please, guys, tell us what would you say to a younger you at home? You never know, you might stand a chance of winning that. And then on Monday, we are announcing the winner of that data voucher that's worth 100 rand. Nine, nine, hectic. Nine, 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 hectic. Nine, nine, hectic. for Hectic Madhouse. Now guys, it's about to get cray up in here. These are two of the most competitive presenters. I cannot explain to you. Survivor 1, they were neck and neck. We were about to be like, this is a fight up in here. So they're gonna be playing the marshmallow challenge right now. You've got your team member, you've got Andy, Dan, and you've got Mariam. You're not allowed to step off the blue and you need to try and get as far as you can to snap the marshmallow, is that cool? Oh my gosh, okay. Guys, go on to Facebook and Twitter. Tell us who do you think is gonna win? Is it Dineo with an L or uh, is it Danilo? Are you guys ready to cheer? Yeah. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. Woo! Oh, my word. Danilo is going for it. They're almost at the end. You have to swallow. Eat it. You have to eat it. Oh, my word. This is so close. I can't even believe it. Oh, my word. This is so close. Hold her back. Hold her back. Oh, guys. And the winner of the marshmallow game. Did he get off? Oh. His foot was off. Yeah. His foot was off. Yeah. His well, foot okay, off. You, you know what, uh, Danilo, you almost made it. So, you know, Danilo is the winner, but it was by a slim. Yeah, ba? You are both really great. Give it up for them. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. And the Project Madhouse game. <laughs> No way, Dan, I think you cheated. I think Dineo deserved to win that hectic madhouse. But now it is time for round two of our hectic madhouse. Uh, there's uh, Lesejo and Natisha, uh, as well as Matthew and DeGrasse. So now this game is called the booty game. Basically, you have to try as many, try to take out all the balls in the box in a 30 facing seconds. That yes, no power, you're right? back facing the camera. Like okay. All right, face, 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 come on. Okay. Do the Beyonce, do the oh, Miley Cyrus. Three, two, one, go! Hi! Don't break our stage! Ah! Ah! Am I winning? Ah! I'm winning! Come on! With, with one ball left in, the, in your box, right? That one is great! We got the winner! Yeah! 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 The time! I think, wait, Matthew, you are our winner! I told you. You did it! This is how it's delicious! Well done! <laughs> the winner of the booty pop challenge. Hey, one dance. Yes. One dance is this world. It will never end. It will never end. <laughs> Where are we going to now, love? It's like remembering how we used to play the game back here in the studio. It was awesome. But I want to tell you guys, it's time to listen to some soothing sounds of Matthew Gold. Give it Let's up! Let's go, guys! Since last summer, there were lines drawn in the sand where we roll like thunder. And when our hearts begin to dance, cause you and I were ready, baby. Cause you and I were wrong. Cause this ain't love. This 
since last summer There were lines drawn in the sand Where we rolled like thunder And when our hearts begin to dance Cause you and I were ready, baby Cause you and I were wrong Cause this ain't love I'm just an old and every guy I got my mindset I don't take into the sky So come on with me on this roller coaster ride Just hold on me, just hold on me, just hold on me on I know I'm pretty ordinary, but my hair's crazy. My mom says, cause I'm being lazy. But I'm just young, 20 some. No, no, I never fight, I don't need a gun. <laughs> but I'm all about the summer sun. Pretty cool, I'm kinda chill when I come around. Yeah, uh, so all I need is a box and a quarter pound. Life takes us on different courses, but with my friends, we run like chosen horses. Porsches, horses, I don't need that. But still, I got a 16 on us, still, I speak clean thunder, still, the world's going on the main. Still, the world's going on the main. Woo! Cause I'm just an old and every guy. I got my mindset, I don't take it to the sky. So come on with me on this roller coaster ride. Yeah. Just hold on me, just hold on me, just hold on me on. to the end of the show unfortunately unfortunately and it's time for us to say goodbye so i've got to say thank Don't you so cry. much to our audience you guys have been amazing our fans of hectic yeah. give yourselves a round of applause thank yes. you so much for supporting let's, the show let's just get some last words from our ex-presenter son with you daniela any you know advice to the loyal Go fans out. be a star be yourself you're absolutely incredible just the way you are Shout Enjoy every moment. Nice. Doesn't matter who you are, where you're from. I'm from a small town. I'm representing all the time. You can do it. Granty, granty. I would say, if anything, just make sure that you're having fun. If you're not having fun, you're not doing something right. Hey, Matthew, hey! I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 in my ear. <laughs> just respect, to respect other people and, yeah. and love what you do. And to now? Uh, last but not least, stay true to yourself and live your dream. Nothing is nice. impossible. Right. We Before have to we ask goodbye, Natisha. We have to do the hectic wave. Yeah. The yes, I want Natisha to, to, to come in and demonstrate. So come and show us how it school. looks. The old school hectic HN9 wave went like this. Grant, can you remember this? I do. It went high five, then you would wash the window, and then you would slap the floor. <laughs> Guys, that's so crazy. The yes. floor, and then it was updated. <laughs> do you know what it was? Do you know what? What is your one? It was hit the wall, wipe it, flick it down. Oh, and then there was a kiss as well. There so was a kiss now and again. Mwah. Okay, cool. So let's all do that together. Which we'll one? Which 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 one?